Hi friends, this is David with Tubo Biz, and today I'm going to give you three hints how to dramatically increase the lifespan of your sugarcane machine by avoiding these simple mistakes or miscalculations that people make when they're using their machines. Okay, I'll get right into it. The first thing is bearing life. The bearings on your machine are what are located on the roller shafts inside of here you can see our Mighty Mini. There are bearings inside on each side of the roller shafts. Okay. Now, what we call major maintenance is when a bearing, one of these bearings, when it breaks, you have to change it. And that is major maintenance. So, increasing the lifespan of your bearings is going to help you so much. So how do you do that with these machines? Let me tell you. What I have here is the upper roller of our TT750D Pro. All the Sugar King machine rollers are the same. They have shafts and they have bearings on each end of the shaft or on the side, uh, the side roller machine, they have bearings on one side. But this, uh, this hint will help you with the lifespan. Okay, it has to do with your habits of putting Sugar King in the machine. The 750D Pro, for example, has this large wide roller and it can take multiple canes at a time. But the fact is that most people only put one cane in at a time because it makes juice fast enough even at one cane. But what happens is some people, they will put cane in the same side of the machine every time, okay? They'll put cane in, for example, on the right side and then again and again and again on the right side. Friends, to dramatically increase the lifespan of your cane, if you have a wider roller machine, is to put one cane in on one side, one cane in on the other, so that the, the stress on the bearings is equal. And another thing is, when you have the opening of your machine, even if it's a single hole, or if it's a wider opening for multiple canes, try to aim your canes towards the middle of the roller when you put them in, okay? This will make the stress on the bearings much less and increase the lifespan, in many cases, double the lifespan of your bearings. Okay, that will save you a headache there. Another thing is how to make your motor last super long. Okay, most of the cane machines these days have emergency stop switches on them. That's the red one here. You can see it here on our Mighty Mini uh, sugar cane machine has an emergency stop button. This is a forward and reverse and a power light. Okay, now let me show you what a lot of people do. Okay, they will take their machine and uh, they'll turn it on the right way and this is powering it up, you can see inside. So let's say I'm now juicing cane. But what they do is instead of using the forward and reverse to turn it off, they use the emergency stop button out of convenience because it's bigger and they, they stop it when they're done juicing the cane. Okay, now while it's easier to push the big red button, the issue is that this big red button puts a lot of stress on the motor if you don't put this in neutral and you just turn this on, okay, and you turn this on to start the roller again and then for the next cane after you're done uh, serving somebody and you turn it off, turn on again all day long, this is going to cut the lifespan of your motor in half because of the stress that using the emergency stop as your forward and reverse button, or as your, as your forward button to stop and start the machine, this stresses the motor a lot, okay? So don't use the emergency stop button unless it's for an emergency, all right? That's hint number two. Now, hint number three just has to do with lubrication. On the inside of all these machines, like our TT750D uh, Pro, our Mighty Mini cane machine here, which is so popular, inside there are gears, okay? People forget that gears need lubrication. So just remember, friends, if you have uh, one of these machines, on the inside, of this, these spaces here, there are gears. Apply some grease to them every couple of weeks, and this will double your life of the gears, guaranteed. You'll have two times the lifespan than if you just get a machine and run it and run it and run it and forget about your gears. 
Okay, so let's review again how to increase the lifespan of your machine dramatically. One, make sure that you always put your canes to the center of the roller so that they have equal, equal uh, wear on the bearings, okay? Put the canes towards the center, or if you're putting one in on one side, make sure you put it on the other side. If this is on the larger roller machines. On the single roller machines, like we have here, when you put the cane in this hole, aim for the middle of the roller, okay? Try not to get in the habit of putting the canes in, going to the side. Put it in the middle of the roller, and this will add equal wear on the bearings, and the bearings are gonna last super long, okay? Lastly, if you have a machine that has an emergency stop button and a forward and reverse button, make sure you use the forward and reverse button to be the main power source to drive the rollers and not the emergency stop button out of convenience because it's bigger and probably prettier, right? This will uh, save your motor and actually this will make the motor life incredibly long. It really, you know, I don't think I've seen a person burn on a motor that uses this and not this, okay? So friends, I want to thank you for watching today. Today was a video of practical things on how to increase the lifespan of your investment, your sugarcane machine. Thank you so much for watching. I am David with Tubobits. See you in the next video.